So, it's, um, it's welcome to Manchester. Welcome to Manchester from who? It's welcome to Manchester from Tony Wetton. I'm the Vice Dean for the Faculty of Medical and Human Sciences, and also I'm the Infrastructure and Technology Lead for the Manchester Academic Health Science Centre. So um, it, it really is a pleasure to welcome you to this meeting. And just to give you a, a little bit of background, I, I joined the University of Manchester in 2003, and perhaps maybe you know around about 2005, I was hearing hearing the term health informatics. From my kind of background, I've been um, involved in informatics with respect to large data sets, but health informatics, hmm, where was that coming from? And slowly but surely, this, this grew and grew and grew with respect to our um, research efforts within the faculty. I came to understand the term more, and I came to understand the importance of the term more. And I'll show you a couple of slides on, on how I think informatics really works into the, the warp and the weave of what we do as a faculty and why today is so exciting and why the future for the Healthy Research Centre is so exciting. And um, a great opportunity for ourselves in Manchester and more importantly for the region. So the we have a structure in the faculty which came out of the appointment of uh, Ian Jacobs as the um, Dean for Faculty of Medical and Human Sciences in, um, on April 28th, two years ago. So he's coming up to his second anniversary. And the big issue with this kind of structure is that we're looking for, we're looking for nodal activity. We're looking for synergistic interactions. So... For example, um, if you look at the various faculty institutes that we have in respect of um, our key activities, we've got population health, which is actually where Ian sits along with biostatis biostatistics people, imaging people, etc. We have cancer as a key theme. We have cardiovascular sciences, and Bernard Keaveney joined us from Newcastle on 2nd of April to lead that. Inflammation and repair with um, major input from GlaxoSmithKline and AstraZeneca into this area, human development with uh, a really fine platform in next generation sequencing and clinical genetics based at CMFT and uh, Central Manchester Foundation Trust, brain behaviour and mental health, where we're seeing some really exciting new appointments taking place. So we have these themes, these research themes, and then we have the professional schools cutting across there. And I sit in the, in the cancer area, and if you look at um, nodes of activity where we want to see synergy, then we have to see uh, increased activity around nursing and cancer, pharmacy, and also over here in psychological sciences. We've got a great new appointment coming in from, from Brown in, uh, in, in the USA. And then you link through to, to the NHS. And essentially, the key point I would make about the nodal points is that informatics for us, health informatics for us, in our journey, isn't, isn't sitting there as a node. It really is in the warp and weave of what we do. And so the tentacles coming out from the Healthy Research Centre into the region, into our interactions with Liverpool, into the NHS, as, uh, as, as um, is very obvious, and the interactions across these various research themes are going to grow and grow and grow and give us the kind of research, diff research platform that can take us towards making a difference for individuals with any specific disease or understanding any specific disease um, or understanding the molecular events underlying a specific disease with new technologies such as next generation sequencing. So healthcare in the region, obviously healthcare sciences in the region is going to be majorly impacted by informatics and as such through the, through the, the efforts of Ian Buck and, and colleagues and the, the development of this regional platform for healthy research, we're going to see great things over the next few years. And in that sense, 
We've got a series of short presentations this morning which are punchy, they're there to inspire, and as such, the idea is that there's going to be only limited questions for uh, the speakers at the end of, or indeed in the middle of, those particular presentations. And the request is that you use the, the lunchtime um, period for networking, for asking the key questions. Obviously, if there is a burning and key point, you can make that burning and key point, but please remember the, 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 the uh, stricture that I just suggested. And so, we can move forward to, the, uh, to session one, which is going to be presented in the first instance by Ian Buchan. So Ian is the, is the director of the Healthy Research Center. And I'd like to ask him to come up and uh, hopefully welcome you and also talk about harnessing health data, which is the title of his presentation. So welcome again. Thanks for coming. Thanks, Tim.